Hey everybody, my name is Joe and I'm a product reviewer here at alexfergus.com and in this video we're going to have a look at a testosterone enhancing supplement called Performance Sport Plus, T Plus. In this video we're going to break it down into a few sections. First I'll quickly talk about the ingredients contained in the supplement. Uh, then I'll share with you my subjective observations after having used the supplement for 30 days. Then we'll wrap up with a review of the lab results that I collected while using this supplement, having collected a baseline sample before starting, and then what the results look like after 30 days of use of the product. So without further ado, let's jump right in and have a look at Performance Lab Sport T+. All right, let's start with the ingredients. So I'm old enough to remember the days when we still had the ability to use the Andro products, which were pretty darn effective at boosting testosterone. Essentially, you give the body a testosterone precursor and voila, you actually enhance testosterone. Now, back in the early 2000s, the FDA thought that this was a little bit too powerful of a supplement to have out on the open market, at least here in the United States. So they took away the Andro option uh, for, for those of us who were looking to enhance testosterone. That left supplement companies looking for other ways to enhance testosterone. And uh, what that has done is sent them down the path of using various minerals, herbals, and other supporting nutrients that essentially facilitate some of the biochemical pathways that are involved in testosterone synthesis and metabolism, as well as trying to find ways to suppress uh, the estrogens, which work in direct contrast to the effect of testosterone in the body. Uh, so that's what we're left with, uh, is a bunch of supplements on the market that are, again, are using various nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and extracts, and such. Uh, so let's jump into what is contained here in the bottle. Uh, so inside this bottle is 60 capsules uh, that is designed to be a one month supply. The recommendations here are to take two capsules uh, per day of the supplement. So uh, one month supply in a 60 compound bottle. Uh, so the first ingredients here in the, on the nutrient side, the mineral side is uh, vitamin D, vitamin K1 and K2, magnesium, zinc, and boron. Uh, I will uh, spare you all the uh, lengthy explanation of the scientific research behind these nutrients. If you want to read more about how specifically these nutrients enhance and support met testosterone metabolism, I did write up a blog a summary, pretty extensive one, on the use of this product. So everything I'll share with you here in the video today, uh, you can read at more length on the Alex Fergus blog article for this particular product. Uh, moving down the ingredient list, uh, this product also contains ashwagandha extract, the KSM 66 uh, proprietary formulation of that, diaspartic acium calcium chelate, macunapurians extract, and finally a uh, luteolin uh, extract as well. Uh, each of these has purported abilities to enhance or facilitate testosterone production and preservation in some form or capacity based on the scientific research out there. So that's a quick rundown of the ingredients inside the product itself. At first glance, I think it's a pretty solid formula in that um, everything in here seems to help support testosterone in one way or another. Uh, whether or not it actually helps folks like myself boost testosterone, well, I guess that remains to be seen uh, throughout the rest of the video here. But again, I encourage you to read the blog for more information on these particular nutrients. So having gone through the ingredient list here, let's uh, transition into the second part of the video where I share with you my subjective observations on the use of the product for one month. Okay, so as I mentioned, I uh, utilized this supplement for one month and part of the process of evaluating this supplement was keeping track of uh, various criteria that I thought were relevant to uh, testosterone production. And so I made mental note on a daily basis on four different criteria uh, related to testosterone production, that being libido, number two, mental focus, number three, emotional lability, and number four, strength endurance. And the way I used uh, a rating system for this was pretty crude, actually. I just assigned a number one, two, or three, where two is an average, no change, one would be a decline in function, and three would be enhanced function of that particular parameter. And as you can see on the chart here, uh, everything pretty much hung around the two, that being no change noticed by me over the 30-day period, except for one factor, and that would be libido. Now, I'm sure those of you watching don't care about some random guy's libido, uh, quite certain of that, in fact. However, I do want to share with you that uh, the only subjective criteria that I noticed a change in while taking the supplement for 30 days was a transient increase in libido for a couple weeks. Now, in order to determine whether or not that was some sort of artifact or actually had lasting effect, 
after I stopped the product and allowed it to wash out of my body for a week, I restarted the supplement again, and I did notice a, a recurrence of that particular effect where libido seemed to increase for a few days while using the product. However, mental focus, emotional ability, and strength and endurance, I did not notice a change in those subjective criteria while using the product. In addition to measuring subjective criteria, I had the advantage of actually utilizing a lab service to help track whether or not there was an impact on various blood parameters. Let's get checked lab service. I was able to measure a baseline hormone levels followed up by the 30-day post-treatment hormone levels as well. You can see on the screen here that there are one, two, three, four, five different parameters measured, estradiol, prolactin, sex hormone binding globulin, the free androgen index, and then of course the number we're all looking for, testosterone. Uh, I'm pretty fortunate in that a uh, healthy 40-year-old guy simply looking to maintain health and wellness had a pretty good testosterone level coming into this. Uh, 608 is the value that was measured. Uh, unfortunately, did not see a significant increase in, you, in the testosterone value after 30 days of using the supplement. In fact, there was about a 13% drop in my testosterone level on the, on the recheck. And across the board, not a whole lot of change in any of the biomarkers, in fact. The one thing that really stand out here on this lab test, I think, was the estradiol dropping uh, by 47%. Uh, after using the supplement for 30 days. It's hard to say if that's an artifact given I'm just an N equals one sample size. Uh, however, it is notable that the estradiol did drop that significantly. And again, uh, no major change in the prolactin, the sex hormone binding globulin, uh, sex hormone binding globulin in the free energy index as a result of using the supplement for 30 days. All right, having discussed uh, the subjective observations as well as the lab data, I would like to wrap up with some general thoughts on uh, the T plus supplement formula. Uh, my take on this is that it's actually a pretty darn good formulation. I, I was satisfied with the science behind the ingredients that are included in there with the following caveat. It seems that a lot of the ingredients here that have the ability to either enhance or support testosterone worked well in individuals that were either intensively training and therefore potentially turning over testosterone at a very high rate, increasing their demand for supportive type nutrients, or were effective in sedentary and overweight individuals. So folks at either end of the spectrum, either you're super lazy or you're super high intensity, might be beneficiaries of this formula. However, for, for guys like us, middle age weekend warriors simply trying to optimize health and nutrition who already have good testosterone and other hormone levels, perhaps this may not be the best fit because it was very hard to move the needle based on what we saw in those laboratory results. So uh, my take is somewhat twofold on the usefulness of this, of this supplement. Again, it's a great formula. I just think it has a spore, specialized niche perhaps for high intensity trainers or for folks who are uh, more sedentary in their lifestyle. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you want more information, again, please check out the blog write-up. It goes far more in-depth on the science behind the nutrients. Thanks again. Take care.